going on family welcome back to the youtube channel man i'm here with another video I'm going to teach you how to fully automate your sales funnel with zapier typeform heat and slide broadcast okay so those are the three systems that i'm using to automate my sales funnel with spark your resume and i want to teach you exactly how i'm doing it while using zapier to connect all three okay and I actually, this is a very unique experience for me, man, because I was actually on a consultation call with a client for a Spark Your Resume that we got to talk about business, man. I got so excited and I and I and I feel like this is really my lane, man. I'm I'm very excited about business. I'm a businessman, I'm a marketer, I'm an operations guy, I'm an automation guy. I just love processes and procedures and I love marketing, man. Being able to, you know, build someone's brand, build a business's brand, help people and really get them to figure out, okay why they should be purchasing from you rather than anybody else is my cup of tea. Uh, and that's what you're gonna get from me on this channel, man. It's automation, marketing, business, all in one, okay? So subscribe if you haven't already. And today we're gonna get into the automated sales funnel using Zapier, Typeform, Keep, and Slide Broadcast. So check out the conversation I had um, with one of my potential clients, man. Hope you like the uh, video. What you're gonna do here is, right, we got free resume review short, right? You got Typeform coming in, Type form is how we collect the data, right? For the resume review. What you do, you will choose an app. So you choose type form or any other app you want to start with your automation, right? Okay. That's going to start the trigger. So you know, based on our that's that's the first thing people are taking action on, right? That's your trigger. Right. So type form is our trigger, the free resume review. After they do that, you select your type form account. Great. You sign in, right? And then you pick the form because we got multiple forms in here, right? Ooh. That's on my type form account but I want to choose, okay, this is the form that I want the data from, perfect. Then I test the trigger, right? It gives me all the information collected on that type form account. Wow. Right, I want to continue that. All, all Zapier is, is transferring data from one platform to the next platform. Got it. Okay, so then you have, our, now you got to know your workflow, right? Mm -hmm. What's happening in my business? You can't do any automation until you know what's happening in your business, mm -hmm. right? So now we got, okay, on my type form, that one question I asked, are you willing to invest 297 to 697? If they say yes, I want them to go to paying customer. If they say no, they're a non-paying customer. That's just the name. That's the, you can name it, whatever, right? Right. You're segmenting off your audiences to put them in different funnels and campaigns, right? So now, bet, I'm doing, let's, do, let's go through the paying customer route. So now I got a paying customer. They said yes on the type form, right? So what you're going to do is you're going to set up, oh, and that's called a filter on Zapier. So let me go back. Okay. So what you did, what this action is called a filter. Okay. Okay. So you would press this plus button and you'll see filter right filter. here. Right? So what I'm going to do is I'm filtering out based on a criteria and you'll see it here. So what I'm doing, I'm naming this filter paying customer and then I set up a rule, Right? And I ask, only continue if you're, if I'm, you know, the question is, are you willing to invest? So what you would do is you select the question from type form. Are you willing to invest? 297. Mm -hmm. right? mm -hmm. That's the question that we have okay. that I'm filtering off of because whether they say yes or no depends on what campaign I'm putting mm -hmm. in. Mm -hmm. Right? So I say the text exactly matches. They got options. Text does contain. Is greater than or less than does not end the date, the time, whatever. So I say, yes, I'm ready because that's my answer on my type form. Mm -hmm. so if, if, if that answer matches, great. I'm gonna press continue. And it's gonna say, look, your path would have continued because the data matches. Mm -hmm. Okay. Boom, now we're going to the CRM, right? I wanna take that information from type form and plug it into my CRM on key. Okay. For automation, right? So I wanna, all you're doing is selecting your selecting the platform you want to connect it to, right? Okay. You select the action or event. I want to create or update a contact because right now, type that that type form is the first type of interaction that person is having with me. I have none of their data in my CRM, so I want to create or update a contact, right? Boom! I press create or update contact. I press continue. Boom! Choose your account on key. Set up the action. So now I want to check for duplicates. I'm going to put their email address in. I'm going to put opt-in is true, making sure they get all my marketing communication. I put their first name, their last name, and then I put my tag on them. So this is in your CRM, right? 
Mm -hmm. And what your mm -hmm. tag is, is going to start another trigger just on your CRM's platform. Okay. Okay. So just like Typeform is a trigger for Zapier, the tag is your trigger to start that sequence on your CRM. Okay. Okay. So now I got paying leads tag, free resume review. That's just what I named it. Mm -hmm. So if they said yes on the type form, that's the tag I'm going to put them in because now I know that sequence is going to send them emails to get them to purchase because they're interested. They just told me, hey, I'm willing to invest. Then mm -hmm. I want to send them information to get them going. Yeah. And right? connect with those people first. Exactly. And that's yeah. going to put them in a whole pipeline. And, and that's that's the CRM itself. That's mm -hmm. a whole different video, right? But I want to show you what Zapier does. And then you can do, okay, I got a website. I'm collecting their LinkedIn. I collect their phone number. And then on Keep, I have all these custom fields that I've created to where I can put all their information in. So the okay. same questions I'm asking on Typeform is the same questions I put in my CRM. Okay. And That's the CRM right. is what keeps it when you have, let's say, people that don't work out, you're able to continue marketing to those oh. individuals because you have their information. Okay. Exactly. Okay. And exactly. that's where and that's where your pipeline stages and your sequences and your auto and your funnels come in. So if okay. they, they take action on certain things within your email, you can right. send them other email. If they don't okay. answer or if they unsubscribe, it will stop automatically. Okay. If they reach a certain goal, right? So my goal for this person is to purchase our package. Right. After they, after they purchase the package, I'm taking them out of the sequence because they reached the goal. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I don't want to send them any more emails because they might get annoyed. Like, bro, I already purchased. Why, right. are, you, why are you sending me more e like, emails? That's annoying. You know what I'm saying? Right. So that's what the CRM could do, right? And then what I did here was I delayed it, and then I found their contact record and keep, and I added it to a note. This is simply because of my setup and keep and what I needed. But you can do all of this in Zapier. What I did was I added it to a note because after you submit your resume review and if you say yes they're going to book an appointment mm -hmm. right and okay. after they book an appointment it's going to update their contact record again which would elip which would delete all of this information from their contact record so i added right. a note to where that note has all their information so where okay. i have everything they their everything that they submitted to my company is still there okay they start, even though they booked an appointment afterwards so i create a note with all that information here Right, I set up the action, I plug in type form, and boom, all their data is there again in that note. And then I delay it even more, right? This is what I was telling you about earlier. Is okay. The slide, broad, slide broadcast allows you to send, send those ringless voicemails. Okay. Right? That's the, yeah. Like the, the ad I just showed you, right? Uh -huh. But now I'm thinking, okay, I'm not going to send them a voicemail right after they submit the resume review. That's, right. not, that's not realistic. Yeah. So I'm, I'm going to wait an hour. Right to where it seems like I actually looked at their resume. Okay. Oh, because I already know the type of resumes I'm getting in. It's doer based resumes, right? So, mm -hmm. bet I'm gonna send this off to them. I'm gonna send that voicemail that I set up in Slide Broadcast. Right? Choose your account. Select the app. Right? Choose your account. Same thing. Um, and then set up the action. Boom! I created an account on Slide Broadcast. I set up my free resume review audio. Right? I uploaded it. I got a destination number. The caller ID should match the number that you want them to call you back on, right? Okay. And then I have the campaign releasing at this time. It's an hour after they submit the resume review, right? Wow. I want to send it to mobile phones only and done. Set up the action. All your automation is done. You retest it. You continue. Done. So every time somebody fills out that resume review, that's what's happening on my behalf, whether I'm there or not. I'm sleeping. <laughs> This is the whole automation process that you were telling me about that I guess this, so this is your business. So when I think about TNT properties, it would be kind of different for, yeah, for oh, my yeah. industry and what that would look like. Oh, that's right. Exactly. It's, 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 just, it's, just, <laughs> it's just what, you, like, it's all about workflows. It's mine. Yeah. Like, you got to know your customer journey. Mm -hmm. That's what will help you set up. This so is awesome. I, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll help you set all this up. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like it's the five K for the program is like, yeah. Imagine how much time it would take you just to it and then so I gotta, figure this out. Which is it would take me forever. It really to would. figure that out, and then on top of that, to implement it, mm -hmm. it's crazy. Mm -hmm. But I've already got it. Mm -hmm. 
I got so many of this, and this is just one. Yeah. This is one. I yeah. got so many zaps right now. It's not even funny. This yeah. is do the same thing for YouTube. So like everything I post on YouTube, I have to post on Twitter. Every, every new episode that comes out is getting posted to Twitter. Yeah, automatically. Facebook, Facebook automatically. Okay, it's starting to make sense now. Like the whole <laughs> automation process. Because at first I was like, I get it, but then I, I, I don't. But now this, it like showing it to me. I'm a visual learner, so like seeing it, it, it makes sense how everything is on this. So Zapier is kind of like the hub, like the motherboard. It, it and then it kind of, everything connects in, everything can plug into Zapier, right? Like a, like a universal cord of some sort. And then all these different cords can go out and they're, they're all working together for the purpose of, of the business. I love it. Exactly. And I hope you enjoyed the video, um, learning how to automate your sales funnel one-on-one -on -one from your guy, Leander Howard II, man, using Zapier, Key, Typeform, and Slide Broadcast, okay? So if you enjoyed the video, man, please leave me a thumbs up, um, subscribe to the channel for future episodes from the podcast and future tutorials uh, to teach you how to start, scale, and succeed in your business, okay? The Spark Your Success podcast, man, the number one entrepreneurship podcast in the world, okay? I know we're just getting started, baby, but you got to believe to dream, baby, okay? So subscribe to the channel, man, um, and leave a comment below if you have any questions. I'll be sure to get back to you. And one last thing, go ahead and download my free business plan. This will be the same business plan that I'll be teaching entrepreneurs looking to start, scale, and succeed in their business. I'll be walking them step-by-step step through this process in my um, eight-week accelerator program, the Start, Scale, Succeed Accelerator Program, okay? And that'll be coming out soon. I'll keep you updated. But go ahead and download that business plan so you can get started with your business today, all right? Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you next video. Peace.